time cycles reveal the future. We've seen in prior videos how the evolution of inventions, the evolution of human knowledge, has been visible in the progression from the steam engine, and then 118 years later, the Wright brothers bringing out the airplane, and then 118 years later, we have billionaires jumping up into space for two, three minutes. And each of these is showing the progression of the same astrology at a higher level, higher quantum level. What we want to discuss today is a similar pattern in the field of astronomy. For example, in 1869, Isaac Newton published a paper and actually created the first reflecting telescope. It was at that time, he wasn't the first person to come up with the idea, but he was the first one to come up with a prototype that actually was usable, and he published the paper in a journal of physics uh, in, I believe, January of 1869. At that time, the astrological configuration of Saturn in the sign of Capricorn, exactly 90 degrees away from Rahu and Ketu, 279 degree, uh, what is called a square angle between the, the nodes and Saturn, in the same locations in the zodiac, just happened a few days ago on April 11th of 2022. And the Inception of the telescope came, and then 353 years later, which is 118 times 3, which is a very important iteration of 118 multiples, the first black hole in the Milky Way galaxy was discovered a few days ago. Utilization of the technology that had been around, but now we found a black hole visually in the Milky Way galaxy, which is our galaxy. So it's bringing self-knowledge. Something about the Milky Way is now being seen connected to a black hole. There was another black hole discovered in, in uh, 2019 by the same team uh, in another galaxy, which was called M87, and it was a great breakthrough at the time. Before Galileo built his telescope in 1609, and Isaac Newton refined it with the reflecting telescope, people studying the heavens used the astrolabe. Essentially the first smartphone-sized computer, the astrolabe is like holding the universe in your hand. The Greek Golden Ages were the first to mention the astrolabe between 220 and 150 BC, and yes, there is an astrological connection between the Hellenic period and Galileo's telescope. The 1768 year cycle connects 159 BC to 1609 AD. It so happens that the 1768 year cycle is rolling or repeating quite consistently over time. Now, during that 1,768-year period between the Greeks and Galileo, the astrolabe was refined and more uses were found for it. At one point, it was estimated there were a thousand uses for the astrolabe. The refinement happened particularly in the middle of the Arabic Golden Age in the 800s to 900s AD, and particularly at the House of Wisdom in the City of Peace, otherwise known to us as Baghdad. There is a direct connection between Isaac Newton and a man at the House of Wisdom named Muhammad bin Musa al-Khwarizmi. And it's the 855-year cycle that connects these two men in two ways. Al-Khwarizmi Al created algebra, and Newton created calculus. Also, 
Al-Khwarizmi created a type of quadrant or one quarter or one fourth of an astrolabe. Newton created the reflecting telescope. Now, the connection between Newton and the present time is a 354-year cycle, which we think is marked by the boundary-breaking visual of our galaxy's central black hole. Now, what's interesting, if you look at this 118-year cycle iteration, is that Einstein's life, if you look at the birth of Newton and the birth of Einstein, they were 236 years apart, 118 times 2. And the evolution of Newton's life and his fame and his successes and his discoveries lines up dramatically with the life of Einstein in, starting in 1879. And his life published in his life, he published in 1905 four boundary-breaking, hugely important um, scientific discoveries about relativity and uh, the photoelectric effect and general uh, relativity. And it was uh, extremely important because 1905 plus 118 is 2023. So we can expect that in this iteration, this period of time, it's possible that physicists and other scientists and the flow of knowledge actually may have some boundary level, boundary breaking level expansion right now. One of the signs of this is this discovery of the black hole. Interestingly enough, Einstein was the first one to actually hypothesize the existence of a, hype, of a black hole in his uh, work in 1916 on the general theory of relativity. And since then, other people have elaborated and discussed and even termed the, the word black hole. And what's interesting is 103 years after Einstein's discovery of the black hole, 103 years is 2019, that was the first actual visualization of the black hole. And we've talked about the 103.2 year cycle based on uh, Marty Armstrong's discovery of the pi cycle of 8.6 years times 12, okay? So this is just an exciting time in the history of knowledge, and we can expect dramatic and extensive expansion of knowledge coming in who knows what package, and there may be some hints as to that package, because we may be looking not only outside in the, in the cosmos, but possibly inside as well with breakthroughs and certain kinds of revelations and spiritual insights about life. On that note, I think we can look forward to these things happening very soon.